Hello guys. Today we are going to learn about encoders. Encoders are small chips which help in reducing the number of wires that are required by us for our program. In this, you can see we are using 422 encoder which helps to reduce the number of wires from 4 wire to 2 wires. Now here you can see how an encoder actually works. Basically, when we are using an encoder, we send all of the inputs to the encoder. Encoder encodes each and every one of the input and sends the encoded bits to the main program. Main program consists of a decoder which decodes it and uses the given input for its processing. Without the encoder, we have to send all of the inputs to the main program which leads to the wastage of the number of ports and also to the resources such as wires and everything. So it is advised when dealing with a greater number of inputs, we must use an encoder. We type the name of the module as Priority Encoder. The Priority Encoder is an encoder in which we give the priority to the certain inputs. We, in this section, we declare which inputs and output ports are to be used. Now, we declare which ports are input and which ports are output. In is of 4 bits and out is of 3 bits. You can adjust the input and output ports as your needs. We must declare the output as reg as we are going to use this in the procedural assignment statement. Now we declare an always block and write the input in its sensitivity. We begin it and type the case statement and in its sensitivity list we type in as we have to monitor it only. Now we type the various inputs of in which are possible and type the output for it. As you can see, for 0 input, we type the output as undefined, for 1, we type the output as 0, and so on. Once we are done with all of the inputs, we just type the end case command and end our case. And then we type the end to end our always procedural block, then end module to end our main program. Now we have to save it and compile it. As the compilation was successful, now we will begin typing its test bench. We begin our test bench program by declaring the program name as priority encoder tb and after that declaring all of the inputs as reg and all of the outputs as wire. After this, we have to call our main program which is priority encoder and then we have to instantiate it as A1. Now we have to initialize the values to the input which is in. But before that, we have to type the dollar monitor system task so that we could see the output in the transcript window. For this, the syntax is shown. Now we have to type the input values at different timestamps.
Once we are done with this, we have to end our initial block and finally end our module. Now we have to save, save the program and then we have to compile it. As you can see, the compilation was successful. There are some errors but for now we can ignore them. Now we have to simulate it. You can verify the simulation results from the transcript window or from the waveform. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.